and welcome back. I'm Brian Arrow and today we are continuing Martha is Dead and we are about... Are you okay, gang? Why are you shaking? You okay? You scared? What are you doing? What doing? I'm not touching anything. Um, There's also like a shadow on one side, like on both sides of the screen. Can you see that? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's not not working. Um, anyway, we are about to head to... Ugh, I can't stand that shadowing on the side. It's very irritating. Um, it, it kind of feels like I'm getting an ocular migraine, you know, when you lose all the light from the peripherals. Um, but we are about to go to the islands to meet the white lady. So let's do that. I'm sure it will go perfect. Um... You know, nothing bad will happen. Are you alright, Julia? Oh, S, no less. S. That's cool. S for start. I, don't make me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hey, that means that I don't need to go that way, right? Oh, wait. I'll come back. I'll come back for you. Where's this other thing? Is it here? Can I look at my map? I can. Okay, so it's right there. Sorry. We will go, but if I'm in the boat, I might as well go, alright? Whoa, where are you going? They won't let me! He used to keep me fishing with my music. I don't understand why my mother and mother wanted me to be able to use Sorry, Julia, the motor was way too loud. Also, it just turned me around. Because, like, no, go to the fucking islands. God damn it. Fine. I don't know why it's so shaky. Like, nothing on my... Gdonk. Do I not need to be here? Where do you want me to go? Am I stuck? Yeah. Oh, do I need to go in this little in home over here? What is it in home in uh, English? God damn it! This was supposed to be spooky. Spooky going to the white lady. Can I not go here? Why am I stuck? There's literal steps there, and I can't go. Why? Ah, oh, what do you want me to do? The steps are right there. Where do you want me to go? I can't. It's just... There's an invisible wall. It's not even like there's something in the water. Okay, I'm going to the other side. Oh, there's a pier. Then why are there steps too? Is that for the white lady? There you go. Oh god, that's so loud. Oh, and we get sirens in the background of my real life. Which I constantly hear when I'm editing. Hmm. Just gonna check if my window's closed. No, no. It is closed. I just don't want to be, like, shouting and annoying my neighbors. I was just wondering because the sirens sounded a bit louder than normal. Spoopy scary. Do I have to go up here? Yes. This is the tree the lover was hung from, according to the legend. Oh. And what would you like me to do? What are my objectives now? Uh, white lady. 
Look at the map. Uh, pff, that's where we are. Yeah. Oh, I have to be at the steps. Right, I need the steps for something, but... Are they here? I can't really tell. No, here. Alright. Cut my hair. What did I drop? What is that? Oh, film? A roll of film? Uh -huh. It's the one that I was taking out of the camera just before I discovered Martha's body. Oh. It should contain shots from before that moment. Mm. With a bit of luck, one of the shots has captured the moment of Martha's murder. I will then finally have an answer. Was it really Mummy? I no, I don't think it was her. I can, but now it's time to speak with the white lady. Yeah, let's speak to her. I'm sure it'll be fine. Well, if we have another objective, I guess we won't die. I love these little things, though. I will wear her lover's cross to draw her to me. Yeah, but she might bum you, so I don't know. And your hair? Snip. A lock of my hair to enter into her world. Who I will says use she's the there, tarot though? cards to communicate with her. Okay. The first ten will be used like I did with Nanny. Once two cards have been chosen, it should begin. Right. I thought she was just gonna pop out of the lake and spook us, to be honest, but maybe that's still gonna happen. And to me, the white lady looks like Marta. Bo, I don't need you to be that close to me. Hi. Be camouflage yourself in the woods to approach me. You blend in with the water to make yourself known. Alright. You wish to communicate with me through the energy of symbols. You use my pain to summon me. Sorry. You are very bold. You call upon me for knowledge that I do not possess. Hmm. For answers I do not have. I am only a vessel. Like water, like air. A vessel to move and breathe. It worked. Now I need to choose two cards. Here we go. Uh, weren't you listening? She doesn't have the answers you're seeking. Um, which one shall we do? You picking one? See if I pick the one that you're picking. On this one. Death. Great. I don't think we're gonna... I don't think it matters where we go. And this one. The stars. I can sense that you want to know who did it, but I do not have the answer. Why is she so polite? You must find it yourself. Do not ever try to enter through the front door if you wish to reach the heart. Like I'm not in the mood for a bumming. sister might have the answer you are looking for. <laughs> Even after death, we leave traces of ourselves, don't we? Everything is indefinite if you look at the essence of things. All right. The moon. It doesn't look very moony to me. The devil. Part of our soul embraces the people we love. It is then torn away from us when these people disappear. The wound is deep and it cannot heal. Faith vacillates. Death causes fear. But the church is a safe place. Mm. It is home and mother to its children. Faith is the light. Do not lose it. Finding it again is almost impossible. I lost it in sorrow. And without time, I am lost in the dark. 
Can we not help her? I mean, I thought she was going to be scary as, but... Hangman? Alright. Didn't actually say what it was, right? The fool. You will no longer be able to tell light from darkness. In sorrow, the difference is so subtle. You are alone, and you will remain alone. Thanks. Memories are abandoning you. They are your only true companions. Now they take the place of your happy childhood, and they may return to keep you company. Happy childhood? I didn't have the impression that she had a happy childhood, but, you know... and this one the high priest the daughter the house the mother the daughter comes from the mother's house excuse me then makes herself a home and becomes a mother this cycle is broken to undo the knot find the son he is the original sin reflected on you. The one who gave you the light wishes to take it back. She wants control. Bit by bit, she is crumbling your life. You have to stop her. Right, kill her mother, okay. The tower. The designs of these cards are very interesting. The chariots. You do not have control of yourself. Oh no. There is a dark figure inside you. Hmm. The wounds are feeding it. It will do things you do not like. Right. It will use your desires, your guilt, the darkest parts of your conscience. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> She's like, I'll have that back, please. The moon achievements. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, shit. Get up. Get up. Can I not get? Right, so I don't think I'm going to drown. Right, we'll go down then. I thought I had to escape, but... I think it's another nightmare. It's pretty, though. Can I go up now? Towards the light? Swim faster. No, no, no. I said no to the bumming white lady. Oh. Well. That's her. No, 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 no. No lady. Or am I swimming towards you? Because. Oh, hi. Do I have to say hello to you? Yeah. Crap. I'd rather not. I guess this is our sister. Suspended. Oh. No! <gasps> oh god, I thought my game was gonna crash. Alright, we're having good bath time. What did you do with that key? Where'd you get it from? Are you right, game? Speaking with the white lady confused me even more. But at least now I have this key. Yeah, is that from Marta's uh, box? Are we naked? No, of course not. At least we're inside the house again. So, you know, our minds opened up a bit. Oh, things look very different in here. Different lights. 
Usually it's like sunshine in here. Oh, Marta's box is open. Where says ours? No, it's Marta, right? Things are different again. These are open now. Remember when I said why why are these always locked? Hmm. Oh. Oh this is Marta. Oh yeah, of course we're on the other side. See, I get confused. I don't even know who we are anymore. July sixteenth. Dear sister, I entrust my secrets to this letter. If you are reading it, things have gone as I thought they might, and I'm no longer there with you. First of all, I am not deaf, and I never was. Mm. Mother scared me when we were little, so I decided not to speak or listen anymore. Right. It worked. In fact, Mother began to love me. They also found a scientific explanation for my deafness. Neurological damage caused by excessive pressure exerted by the twin during pregnancy progressively led to hearing loss. And like that, my decision was also transformed into a fault of yours. So I must put it right. Do I have any other secrets? Unfortunately, yes. But a letter is too cold for such matters. Now that you know that I can speak, please go to the dark room. I have a hidden recording. Listen to it and you will hear my voice. Aww. Farewell, Martha. Why all of this madness, Martha? What else have you been hiding from me? What do you mean? You're you pretending to be your dead sister. More than 15 years. I can't wait to hear it now. It'll be yours. It'll be your voice. I'm calling it now. Oh, we don't even get the choice? Okay. You know, fine game. Oh. Things are looking different in here too. Uh, what's this? There is nothing here. <laughs> There's no one here! My eyes! Not here. Nor here, but here it is. <gasps> oh my goodness, it's a giant fucking recording. My dad used to have these, well, smaller versions. Hi, Julia. I know that this will seem absurd, but this is me and this is my voice. Yeah, same, same person. We are equals in this sense, too. It's obvious, really. I've basically always spoken, and you were my voice. I'm going to meet my fate, so I don't want there to be any more secrets between us. Yeah. I have to tell you that I'm... I'm pregnant, Julia. I'm pregnant with Lapo's baby. We had sex, and I never had the courage to tell you. I was so afraid of hurting you. I'm so ashamed. And now, how can I ever bring this child into the world? The baby is starting to show. Could you tell? That's why I'm no longer getting undressed in front of you. But for how much longer can I hide it? Yesterday, you asked me to go to the lake together early in the morning. You, the sleepyhead, early. I asked you to switch beds with me. Like we used to when we were little girls. I got up at dawn and didn't wake you. I put on one of your dresses. Right. Yes. I get it. I get it, fine. I wrote a card to mother telling her that it was you who was pregnant, not me. And to come and see at the lake. I left it on the desk in her room. Yeah, I know. Do we have to go up and... <sighs> fine. I just came from there, but you know, fine. I guess they won't wake up because... It's all in my head anyway. Can't see it. Then I felt the need to talk to you and I remembered the recorder in the dark room. Do I have to go there now? Hello parents. I'm not sure if you're actually here. Can I take your gun? Alright. Oh 
So I guess I can go downstairs now. Yep. So weird. When I'm gonna be able to go into this room. Which I still don't think is my room because we slept together. Because the two beds are in the same room with the... And the... Go to the lake alone and act as you. I will tell her everything you never had the courage to tell her. I will be your voice. I know how much she's made you suffer over the years. Unlike you, I remember all of the harm she has done to you and it is my fault. Take my place, sister. You will live a better life and I will be able to rest in peace knowing that I at least try to put right what I have done wrong. I will go now. My last memory will be the image of you sleeping peacefully. Okay. We have nothing to say about this? Can I? Thank you. Hi, Julia. I was upset. Unbelievably upset. July 16th, that cursed day. Martha didn't wake me up. Wait, what? She, she, she just said, hi, Julia. And then she said, Martha didn't wake me up. Hmm. I still think it's the same person. Still think it's the same person. Still think it's the same person. There was a dress missing from my wardrobe. Yeah. Why are we dressed like that? Why don't we get dressed in her clothes? You know, that's what I do. Whatever. We're going out. Gonna see what happens. I guess. Can I get out? go out? Excuse me? No? Oh. Martha wasn't there and we were supposed to go to the lake together. She even made her bed, which was unusual. I thought Mother woke up early, despite her medication, hmm. and asked her to do something. Hmm. Can I go out now? No? Hello? Hello? I'm gonna make my bed too. Hmm? No? I saw a thingy here. Where's the thingy? Hmm? Oh. It was late. Martha hadn't woken me up as we had agreed. And I always overslept. I simply decided to go out and take the photographs by myself without Martha. Well, she was there. Hmm. I need to stop hunching. Gotta sit up straight. Otherwise I'm gonna be a hunchback by the time I'm 60. Can't go into that room still though. And how come I have a sub? I still don't know understand why I have a separate um, room Oof. hello it was a foggy morning but it was no longer dawn it was a sign of something terrible hmm oh you're not making me My walk all the way. I killed her beloved Martha with her own hands. I had then taken her place, usurping the throne of her affection. She would have never forgiven me. I had real reason to be afraid. What? Hmm. 
I searched for one of Daddy's pistols to defend myself. Hmm. What a stupid little girl I was. In spite of everything, that roll of film still needed developing. Even if it didn't prove she was guilty. I also wanted to search for proof of Martha's pregnancy. Um... Well, yeah, you can see it now. New chapter, the graveyard. <gasps> oh, do we finally get to go to the graveyard? Yes! Alright. Oh, God. I wish the camera wouldn't spin me around like that. Oh look. Meanwhile, the New Zealand units have reinforced their positions that run from San Michel to La Romola. Near La Romola, the Michelangelo villa of the E family, where General K was staying, was bombed by the artillery. Luckily, the general and his family were not in the house at the mm. time of the attack. So that's Nanny's but death. once again, La Romola has been the site of graphic barbarity. A farm was stormed and animals were stolen and killed. Nobody has claimed responsibility for yet another act of senseless vandalism. But at the scene, an anti-German propaganda flyer was found. This is the civilization that our comrades are proposing. Well, you know, another film? No? Can I? Take 400 it. ISO film. It comes into its own shooting clouds and indoors. Hmm. Anything new? No. Alright. I'm not gonna read that letter again. It's probably gonna be the same. Um, is there anything else I need to do? Oh, the phone! The phone! Let's call some numbers! Right? So... Mm, the doctor, maybe? Six, five, nine, three. Love Romola, doctor's surgery. How may I help? Oh, hello, it's at NAK. Please wait a moment. Doctor, it's that strange girl. Irene's daughter. Hi, Julia. So... Oh. Because they know now, right? Mm, maybe I should have said something. Should I try again? I just, I don't know if it's gonna be like detrimental to the outcome of things. I'm just gonna speak to the doctor. I've already called this number. What use would there be calling again? Uh, I'm having a conversation? Whoever calls just one time. All right. So I can't call the asylum anymore either, can I? Eight. Two. Why would I call the asylum? Mummy was there a few years ago now and I wouldn't know what to ask. To be honest, I don't understand why the number is still here. Mm, well, your mother said she was going to put you in one, so... How about... The cemetery? Uh, six. Five. Three, seven. I also should do a divination because I remember it last time I didn't do one because I got distracted. Who, who is it? Uh, do myself. Hello, it's Julia Kay, Eric Kay's daughter. Yeah. Yeah. Wh what do you want from me? Hi. I'm sorry to disturb you. 
I just wanted to know if I can come over to see you later today or tomorrow. Of course not. Do not come looking for me anymore. Stop bothering me, you bitch. He must be going crazy. I don't believe for one second that Mummy would let him treat her this way. Sheer madness. But you are being yourself. That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, I, I don't think the phone numbers are going to do anything at this point. I'm going to... I know, I'm trying, but... Why the fuck would you give me that prompt now? You can't see this behind my head. It's saying, use the telephone to call people, herbity burbity. Oh, I have been. Uh, I'm going to do the haberdashery. Nine... Eight. Seven. To see where that cloth's from. Hello, Maria speaking. How may I help? How may I help? As mother's friend. Oh. Hello, Maria. It's Anna L. A close friend of Irene K. Oh, yes. Irene spoke about you. How can I help? How can I help? Order fabric or request information. Irene is making a dress for me, so I wanted to know whether she bought that beautiful and vibrant red and black fabric. I assume so. I am sorry, madam, but I cannot give you that kind of information. Irene is a loyal customer, you see. Hmm. I understand perfectly, Maria. I'm only asking as I wanted to order a few meters of it for myself. Without it, any feeling that she needs to sacrifice hers for me. I'm sorry, Miss Anna, but unfortunately, we do not have any more of that fabric. We got more on order for Irene. I'm sorry. Hmm. Ooh, so Mummy is helping the partisans. Or as I like to call them, the resistors. Um, cool. I don't want to call German command, that would be bad, I think. Uh, what else? Town hall, maybe? Six. Nine. Two. Two. What am I going to ask at the town hall? I don't know. Alright, fuck this. Um, let's see. So we've got... A Julia's diary, of course. 21st of July. Lapo is dead. They shot me in the back when I discovered his body. I thought I had hit rock bottom. These are soulless, empty days. After so many awful events, I finally managed to meet the white lady. Or so I believe. The line between reality and dreams is becoming less and less clear to me. Hmm. I thought a lot about her words, but they didn't shed any light on my assumptions. They kept ringing in my mind. Maybe I will understand when the time comes. Now I know for certain that it was Mummy who killed Martha, when she thought that she was me. Only a week ago, all of this would have seemed impossible. I just need to find the proof. So she can pay for what she has done. I... <sighs> she even unlocked High Priestess. So we've seen this one. Yeah, okay. And there's nothing else. Okay. Um... I don't think it was her. Let's do a little divining. Right. Do it. Which one shall I have? This one. The fool. I mustn't care about what people think. All right. It's a bit hard sometimes. All fear will prevent the me devil. from facing the music. The tower. 
it will be very difficult to recover from the mental collapse. Hmm. Death. Destiny is inevitable. That's a nice one. The end waits for us. Alright, cool. So we're gonna die. Great. Um. So yeah, that painting has been continued. Telegram. I'll leave it in the letterbox. Have a good day. Uh, Another yeah. telegram of condolence. Oh Jesus! Isn't it a bit late? I'm gonna get that first. Dear Mrs. Irene K. Hmm. Following your call, we have received a telegram from Doctor D. Your request has been accepted. As soon as the police station issues authorization, we will send for the girl. While we wait, to avoid the girl taking any extreme actions, as per the fears you have expressed, we ask that you trust in the advice of her treating physician. I thank you for your generous and charitable donation to our institution. Huh. Director S. Volterra Psychiatric Hospital. Telephone 0782. Now that she has discovered everything, she wants to lock me up in an asylum. Mm -hmm. Maybe even worse. She wants to kill me and have everyone believe it was suicide. She is preparing all the finer details. Oh. Yeah, so I'm going to call the asylum. Oh, is this a new one or an old one? Commune oh. of San Casciano, province of Florence, death certificate. Yeah, we've seen this already. Don't judge me, lady. Oh, God. There's nothing else here. Okay. Shall I call the asylum? Because now, now she will actually call, right? Because last time she's like, why do I want to call the asylum? Like, well, I, I have several things that I want to ask them, but... Like, why was my mother there a couple of years ago? Volterra Psychiatric Hospital, how may I help you? Hello, we recently requested the admission of Julia Kay to the hospital. I just wanted to know whether it would be possible to cancel the request. I'm sorry, but the request was issued by the municipality where you reside, madam. Any revocation of the request should be passed by them. Only they can decide whether to approve of the cancellation or not. Have you already received the telegram confirming that we have taken charge of the request? No, I haven't received any telegram. Then you must hurry. If you go to the town hall and discuss the issue with them, they can approve the cancellation. Thank you. Goodbye, madam. Ah, and now we get to call the town hall. You're not putting me away, mother. I'm way more clever than you are. I hope. I would like information regarding a request for admission to Volterra Hospital. Please hold the line, madam. Uh, yes, hello? I would like some information regarding the request for admission of Julia Kay, my daughter, to Volterra Hospital. Yes, madam. The hospital confirmed recently that it will be sending its own staff to your house uh, for the uh, admission. The matter is no longer in our hands. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye. Shit. No longer in our hands. German command. Do you think I can report her? Oh, I don't know if this is a good idea. Because it would also put myself in danger. I 
have no reason to call Daddy's command. Oh, not yet. Damn it! You could have said that she was a spy. With the information you got from the haberdashery. Anyway, um, I still I love that we have dog bowls and a dog bed. Yet I haven't seen a single freaking dog this entire time. Um, it's fine. So, what are my objectives? Film in the dress. Oh, develop the photo. Okay, we can do that. And then in the next episode, we can go to the graveyard. Requirements. So, yeah, we haven't done these three yet. Um, and we still got to do the weapons cache, which I can now do with the boat, if it will let me. And then the newspaper. Mm, guess I will do that since it's an objective. Uh, it's just the other way, anyway. Let's read the newspaper and see what it has to say. Attack on Hitler. <coughs> the New Zealanders conquer Tavernelli in the eastern sector of the battlefront. The troops mm. of the 2nd New Zealand Division, British 8th Corps, conquer Tavernelli. The 6th South African Armoured Division advances on the heights near Greve, conquering the peaks of the Domini and Philly Mountains. The 4th Division reaches San Giovanni. Used to have a kid in, in class called Giovanni. Attack on Hitler. After an attack carried out by a group of traitors, Hitler's words are, In having escaped, I see a sign of the duty incumbent on me to continue my work. Bombings. Damage caused by the bombings between Florence and Siena continues to increase. After the disaster at Poggibonsi, rubble and power cuts are the order of the day. Mm. And then this Sabotage one. of the phone lines in La Romola. Telephone cables have been cut, causing danger to general safety. Any damage to the information service facilities is punishable by death. Well, <laughs> it's fine. I don't know nothing about that. Are you gonna go? Whoa! Did I just go over the table? And then my camera went weird? I want to do that again. Oh. Uh, oh, develop the film. Uh, be faster doing it from the outside? Yeah. Hmm. I haven't used my bike once. Oh, are the gates open? Yes, they are. I can go again. Yes, 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 yes. I'm looking forward to it. I'm so glad that I got a second chance to that. Oh, the light's lovely at the moment. Oh, this is close. Oh. Game, come on. This is closed now, which is interesting. Oh, it is closed. So I have to do from the inside. Just realized that's where I need to go. Why is the sun setting? Feels like it's like four o'clock or something. Oh, mother. Go to the dark room now. Not when she's around. I must stay as far away from her as possible. I could go to the cemetery instead to find out whether Martha really was pregnant or not. Oh, that's sneaky. All right, so... What are we gonna do? Are we gonna dig up the fucking grave to see if there was a fetus inside? <gasps> we are, aren't we? We are, aren't we? Oh no. Anyway, I'm gonna leave that wonderful um, prospect for the next episode. Um, with, with every bit of information that we get, I'm more convinced that we're the same person. Because the recording had her voice. And I'll have to listen back to it in editing as well. But I'm pretty sure when she, when Julia started the recording, she said, Hi, Julia. Marta did not wake me this morning. When it was a message from Marta that she was leaving. Right? Then why would she say, Hi, Julia, to Marta? And then say, Marta didn't wake me. Unless I misheard it. But... 
maybe she said hi it's julia because th it, this episode has been very buggy um even with on, um, on screen stuff so i'm not sure but i'm going to listen back to that and if if she did say hi it's julia then i'm pretty much convinced that they're the same person um And maybe it wasn't mother that went to the mental hospital a few years ago. Maybe it was Julia or Marta. I think we're Marta. Because um, we did see that suicide attempt, right? And how can they both be pregnant? Because Marta said, I am with child. And then Julia was showing in that moment and I think we're still showing yeah oh why is it moving oh I don't like that um so I think we're the same person and the story uh, how is it, how it's all going to be explained I don't know but if this is all in our head um then again it makes sense that it's all jumbled and weird and doesn't make any sense um anyway let me know what you think as always thank you for um uh, joining me on this Weird and wonderful adventure, and uh, <laughs> we're gonna do some more weird and wonderful stuff in the cemetery. I'm pretty sure we're going to be digging up a grave and scooping out a fetus, so that's gonna be fun. Anyway, thank you so much, and we'll see you when I see you. Mm.